It is a little Miss Twinkletoes. You weren't very long. Long enough. That man is beyond belief. Whilst I was taking my lesson, the phone rang. He asked me to go out in the hall whilst he talked. Maybe he has to think about privacy. He has a thing about $150 in <laughs> advance. I listened from the hall. You eavesdropped on your teacher. Shame on you. He signed up another girl over the phone. And you know on what basis? You liked her voice? She danced in high school. So tomorrow she's handing over all her money, cash in advance, in full. Can she dance? She doesn't know her right foot from her left. Hmm. Well, how come you're back so soon? My lesson, and get this, my entire lesson consisted of five minutes of stretching. Mr. Hannibal said I was just so brilliant that that was all I needed for the day. I'll bet you stretch brilliantly. Oh, well, that's what he said. He's smoother, you know. He doesn't miss a trick. Are we expecting anyone? Not that I know of. Oh, thank heavens, you're both here. I'm going out of my mind. You better sit down. Can I get you something? Some, uh, some coffee or something to drink? No, no, I just want you to both listen to what happened. I saw Grant. I mean, the real Grant. I opened the door and there he was. Grant here? Oh, my God. What did he say to you? I don't know. I don't know. I can't even remember. I was in such a state and he was... He said so much so fast, I don't even really remember what he said. But where is he now? Did he say? Uh-uh. No. I, uh... He, he left and I went to try and find Grant at the floating rib. The hostess said he had been there, but he was gone. I just felt so confused I had to come here. Yeah, well, I'm glad you did. Robert? Damn it, I was afraid he'd do this. He was told to wait. You knew he was still alive? Yes, Celia, we knew. I can't believe it. You knew and you didn't tell me? You didn't tell Grant? Couldn't you have warned us? Celia, it wasn't that simple. Are you my friends, or aren't you? Don't you think that my husband had a right to know? Wait a minute. He did know. Yes. That's why he said what he did. That's the whole explanation. At the time, I didn't think much about it. Look, wait a minute. I don't quite understand here. What did he say to you? He said it was just a thought but that maybe we had made a mistake in not accepting the government's offer for a new name, a new location, a whole new life. When he said that, he knew that the real ground was here, didn't he? Tell me, Robert. Celia, listen to me. Now, Grant was under orders from the State Department not to tell you about the real Grant. He wasn't keeping anything from you. He was simply under orders. I don't care. You weren't under orders. Or even if you were, doesn't our friendship mean anything to you, Robert? Don't you think I had a right to know about this? Yes, you had a right to know. And still you kept it from me. You let me open the door to find him staring at me. You put me through that. We had no choice, Celia. You had a choice. You could have told me and you didn't. How could you keep that from me? Oh, never mind. I didn't talk to you about it. I'm sorry I bothered you. Celia, wait! gonna do yeah but the damage is done yeah yeah well, I said it's all right didn't I right tomorrow call me when you get in atypical what is it? that was Jackson from the State Department now that the barn door is wide open he wants to come back to Port Charles what was his reaction to the real Grant going to see Celia well he's furious about it the guy broke his word was very wrong of him. Wrong? Reprehensible, dear. You saw a mess Celia was. Yes, poor Celia. But don't underestimate her. I mean, she's disturbed now, understandably. She has a way of bouncing back. Well, Grant has some of that quality, too. I mean, that's the one we know. It was awful of the real Grant to take things under his own hands. But I can't think that the damage is irreparable. She'll weather this storm. 
She and Grant will, like they've weathered all the other ones. Maybe. But the worst is yet to come. I mean, the notoriety, the whole thing's going to be dredged up all over again. Now, they lived through it once. I don't know whether they can do it again. I do. Oh? They'll survive, and, and I think I know why. Would you like to share this sudden insight with me? It's not that sudden, and I don't think it'll be terribly surprising to you. They love each other. That's it? That's the answer? That's simple? Yes, I think so. That old saying about love conquering all, I think that makes sense, don't you? I mean, you and I should know it more than anyone else. Yeah, we've been through our share of hell, haven't we? And we survived. I think they will too. You know, as a day goes by that I don't realize I love you more. Do you have any idea how much a woman likes to hear those things? You're really incredible, you know that? I keep telling you. No, I mean it. You're right about the power of love. You're right about Grant and Celia. It will get them through the hurdles. Well, we should know. Yeah. Love is the strongest power on this earth.